everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you some really simple ways to make your space feel beautiful and look aesthetically pleasing. First tip is to find a color palette and carry throughout your home or choose a color palette for each room. If you're going for a more boho vibe, you might wanna have like lots of oranges, yellows, and pinks. You might be doing a more neutral vibe. You may want lots of like stone pieces, not much color in your house, kind of like Kim Kardashian house, if you feel me, if you knew where this was going. For my apartment, I wanted neutrals with pops of pink. And I think that you can basically see that throughout my space. I love a very girly, clean, white, minimalist look with just that pop of pink here and there, just a pop of color. A lot of people might not even want color or you might want a monochromatic look or maybe you just want lots of black and white. There are so many different things, but once you have a color palette and a theme that you want, it will be so much easier when you're going out to find decor pieces because sometimes you might find a really pretty piece that you would like. For instance, if I found something that was really nice on beachy, yes, I may love it, but when I think about my space, would it really look good in the area? So this can also prevent you from buying a lot of things that you might not need and just having an excess of things that you're not gonna use or you're not gonna really, really love. And I've been living by that principle of just buying things that I know that I would love and will use for many years to come. And of course, it avoids all of that unnecessary clutter because you really never realize how many things you actually start buying <laughs> until you move into a place and then you're like, wait, where did all these things come from so I always want to make sure that I keep things that I truly love and as Marie Kondo says sparks joy I've been definitely living like that and that has been helping me a lot especially you know choosing those little color schemes and themes for my space next up is to incorporate pieces of art in your home so you don't have to be crazy and break the bank with this I love Desenio so much so those are the pieces that you see on my entryway and they're such a staple in my home because they're such good quality and you can get the frames on everything on Desenio so it's literally like a one-stop shop they have so many different prints to choose from I'm absolutely in love with their selection and the quality of everything these are some of my favorite pieces that you see right behind but I did get some new pieces that I'm so excited to share with you and I cannot wait to create a little gallery wall that will look so good in my space gallery walls and pieces of art really transform a space if I move those paintings from there it will look super super blank so I love finding little pieces that I like that make my space look really really good and the good thing about Desenio is because everything is so reasonably priced you can swap out prints so much and just have fun with it in your space next up is some faux plants you guys this is life-changing especially if you have pets I have two cats as you guys know and they destroy all of my real plants and a lot of plants that I like are toxic to them. So I decided to start incorporating really realistic looking faux plants in my space like my fiddle leaf fig. Everybody thinks it's real but it's fake AF and it never dies. I never have to water it. I never have to do anything except just spray it and clean the leaves make it shiny a little bit, make it look a little bit more real, even though it looks so real already. I feel like it's better to invest in those because it looks so much more realistic than buying something that may be a little cheaper and does not look real because the look of a plant in your space changes it so much. Same as with my Brigham Villa on top here. These are not real Brigham Villa, but it looks so good and it really brightens up my entryway and I change it out. So this was my spring Valentine's Day look. I also have these olive branches that I got on Amazon. They are so stunning. They look really real as well and it really changes up a space. I also have some eucalyptus and orchids. Orchids are a really good touch to any space. It makes it look so fancy. It gives it that touch of bougie, especially if it looks real. Try to get those plants and flowers and stems that look as real as possible because it is going to make your space look so fabulous without even trying. You don't have to worry about your plants dying. You don't have to water anything. It's a vibe. It's a vibe, you guys, and I highly recommend it. Let us talk about lighting and lamps. I am a lighting obsessed person. I love having good lighting and it really makes or breaks a space. I have a lot of like very harsh white neon lighting in my apartment. So I love having lamps with a warmer toned light and it really just makes the place look so cozy, especially in the night. I love this lamp that I have. I love the gold base of it and then the white shade that goes so well with my apartment and I love the 
glow of this warm light. It makes it so cozy for me to read when I'm going to sleep or do some word search and to just have that cozy ambient setting. They're color changing bulbs on Amazon that you can just press a button and it changes the lights to different colors. That might be something fun when people look over and you want to just change the mood, maybe have some pink lights or something like that. Fairy lights are also really inexpensive and great way because sometimes lamps and floor lamps could be really expensive. I had no idea until I wanted to buy one and it was so freaking expensive. But honestly, fairy lights on your wall or your curtain rods can make your space look absolutely beautiful and cozy and magical and make it feel really, really homely. I have been really into making my apartment smell as good as I could. From the time you come home or from the time someone walks into your space, I love when they say, oh my God, it smells so good in here. I feel like if that is like the biggest compliment in life and I take it so seriously. So I have so many little things around my apartment that I want to share with you that make it smell really, really good. First up are candles. You can see them here. I have it on my ottoman, my entryway, my bedside table. Next up in my bathroom, I have a diffuser. I love this so much. It smells really good good. Diffusers can kind of be expensive depending on the brand that you get but oh my god it makes my bathroom smell so good every time I go in it it's like a hotel. I have just been in love with making my bathroom smell really really good and diffusers help so much with that. Next up is Febreze the fabric spray. You guys I swear by this especially if you have pets. Before someone comes over I spray my entire apartment down. I spray the curtains that are literally right next to me right now by my door. I spray the couch and the blankets. I spray the bathroom, the rugs on the floor. It's so good. I swear by Febreze. I'm not sure if that's like the best best brand but if you guys have a good option as well definitely leave that down below so I can check it out. Something else that I have and I think it's right in the back of me is a Bath and Body Works the Wallflower plugins. I love these. Let me just say that I think that it lasts so much longer than Glade plugins. I had Glade plugins and once I left it in and it literally went down by the night and I was like what is this? But I've had my own, I think it's right here, so I remember to unplug it. So I've had this since December you guys and look how much it still has in it. But yeah, I just make sure to plug it in whenever somebody comes over. It smells so good. A good rug or runner can completely transform your space. I feel like if it really opens up a space and makes it more cozy and comfortable comfortable. So I have this beautiful white one in my room where I film in, which is that smaller room there. If you think about it, like if I moved my living room rug from there, it would just be like hot, cold and uninviting, whereas rugs make everything really good. You can have so much fun with rugs as well. You can even layer it and add different patterns and textures. I wanted a little runner for my laundry area because the tiles will be so cold when I would be doing my laundry. And I got this cute one with this like daisy flower print on it and it literally transformed the entire laundry room room when I put it in. It looks so good and my feet don't feel cold anymore so there's that. It's just lots of fun and you can experiment with different patterns and textures as well. I am such a sucker for wicker baskets and it took me like six seven months until I got the perfect ones for underneath my entryway. You guys don't settle for a wicker basket or a rattan basket because it is going to be worth it when you find one that you truly love. Wicker baskets are really good. Not only do they look amazing but they can store and hide a lot of things in it especially if you have those ones with the covers you can throw all of your clutter in it before somebody comes over and then your space looks absolutely magical. I love my wicker baskets for putting in like my shoes instead of having a shoe rack I just toss in my shoes I put my cat's toys in it as well and then I have like blankets and throw pillows sometimes so it really depends on what I'm using it for but oh my gosh I love these so much and I definitely plan on getting more for my space because it is so functional and it looks so beautiful I I just you guys, if I'm not careful, I might start hoarding wicker baskets, honestly. <laughs> when it comes to buying those baskets, I prefer ones that are more structurally sturdy. I don't really like the woven cloth ones because it collapses a lot and the shape can kind of be wonky and you have to like really set it up properly in order for it to look good. My wicker baskets that I have here are really, really like actual wicker and it's firm and I don't have to worry about it like collapsing or falling down or anything like that. I love my baskets as well because the cloth inside can come out and I can wash 
wash it whenever it gets dirty. So that is just something that you can probably think about if you are, you know, looking for little things to add to your space. A few trendy pieces are a great idea when it comes to decorating your home. Something that I really liked was this Nordic vase that you see behind me. I was basically seeing this everywhere and I love how simple it looks. Sometimes it's really fun to just like try different things on trend that you may not normally have tried. I never would have bought a circle vase in my life if I did not see different ways on how to style it and how different it looked in different spaces and I was really inspired by it so that's why I decided to check it out. Another thing that was really trendy was pompous grass and I ended up really loving that as well. It looks amazing in pictures and in reels and stuff like that. There are things like bubble candles which might be cute, risers and little things here and there that you could add to your space to give it a lot more personality and character. Of course you don't have to go and buy every single thing that you see that is on trend but it's just fun that if you see it and you really like it and you think that you will love it for a while it's just something fun that you can think about adding, especially if you're not really into decor and you're not really sure what you should add to your space. That's actually how I get ideas because I see it online or I see somebody have it and I'm like, oh my God, that looks really, really cool. Pillows and throw blankets change the look of your sofas so much. Right now, everything is white on my space, but if I change it with like different colored pillows, it literally changes the entire place. A throw blanket is also an easy way to make your living room look so different and to make your furniture overall look really different. Something with bright colors and patterns that you may not normally have could do so much to space. And the best part is that it's very low commitment. So you can just buy inexpensive throws, change up your entire space and then pack it away for a different time or a different season without having to really commit to it because I have very strong commitment issues when it comes to life, but also when it comes to color in my space. So I find that those pillows and the throw blankets make things really, really easy just to swap out and change up. On that same topic, curtains can literally change the entire look of a room as well. Right now I have white curtains, but if I did like floral or tropical, it can look like a different space completely. This one, I feel like if it's a more of a commitment base and might be more pricey, but it depends maybe for different seasons, you might wanna have different curtains and you wanna try different things. But that's another way that you can entirely change your space without like doing over the entire room, you know? Last tip I have is bed sheets. I highly recommend investing in really nice bed sheets. I have been loving these bamboo bed sheets. They feel so good. And at the end of a day, when you finish shower and you want to crawl into your bed, there's nothing like coming home to a really nice made up bed and comfortable sheets. You know, that's sleeping on a cloud of vibe. We're, we're just living for it. And again, with the bed sheets, sheets and bedrooms and stuff like that. You can change the comfort all look. You can change the sheet pattern. I'm so boring. I have all white sheets every time, but I really do love having the bamboo sheets because they really feel so good compared to my normal sheets. So that may be an investment, but trust me, it will feel so good and it will make your space feel so cozy, so aesthetic, and it will make your room feel like this is your sanctuary and this is where you love to be. So that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any decor tips on how to make your space look and feel beautiful, definitely comment it down below because I love when we help each other out. Thumbs this video if it gave you any ideas or inspiration and don't forget to subscribe because it will mean so much to me and I have all of this fun content coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.